partnership with myself and Richard Branson to uh, take the sub and go to the deepest places in, the, in each of the five ocean basins of the world. It's capable of going to, to what we call full ocean depth, or 36,000 feet, the deepest place in the world, which is the Mariana Trench. Part of the attraction of this is that it can go much quicker um, getting down. We'll get down to the bottom in two hours and 20 minutes as opposed to five and a half hours. And then uh, once there, have 10 kilometers of range on the bottom to go explore. We're going someplace that uh, you know is almost never visited. It's been visited a little bit by robots. Um, all the focus of deep sea science has been on the Mariana. One cup sample of sediment brought back on another mission yielded 400 new life forms. Setting Lewis and Clark loose to fly over the, the west in a Cessna, this mission was the equivalent of that. The Mariana is the deepest uh, out 300 miles south of Guam in the Pacific. Uh, the Puerto Rican is obviously off Puerto Rico. The Diamantina is uh, 600 miles west of Perth, Australia. The Sandwich Trench is just east of the Falkland Islands in the, in the Southern Seas. Then the Molloy Deep is different. The uh, Arctic Ocean does not have trenches in the style of all the other oceans. I'd love to be doing 30 or 35 dives in the course of going around the world. Um, there's some interesting things to look at. Um, not far off the, the Atlantic coast is a place where in eight or 9,000 feet of water, 20,000 tons of chemical munitions were dumped after World War II. That's an immense amount of chemical munitions all rotting away. That's the kind of thing that ought to be shown to the world so that it's something will get done about it. Mars we've mapped with better than one meter accuracy for our mapping. Most of the oceans, it, it, average mapping uh, accuracy is like one spot every four kilometers. So we know virtually nothing about what's down there. Um, and there's going to be fantastic things found because our coastline here, there's 1,300 major wrecks on the coastline of California. There's one spot, um, 300 square miles, 30, 30 by 10 in the Atlantic, that has um, 1,000 wrecks from World War II. There's an incredible number of things to be found out there.